I was super excited when Govi reached out to me and asked if I would review their new Govi Glide wall light. And one of the things I was really interested in finding out is just how good this could diffuse the LED lights being that it has such a low profile. And when you first open the box, you'll see the pieces of paper that are there to help you get started. And if you're like me, you'll never touch these again. Next, I'll be taking out six individually wrapped pieces of tubing, I guess I'll call it. And these are each 300 millimeters in length or just shy of 12 inches. As for what powers these, you're going to have your standard 12 volt adapter. And in the last box you have your corner connector piece and you have your controller. I was also very curious to see how they engineered this so that all the pieces could fit together. And it looks like what they did was they had raised pins on one side of the connector and then when you snapped it in place with the other piece it made a good connection with the pads on the other end so that all of the uh, data, the voltage, and the ground could continue through. Here I'm going to begin to connect the pieces together and you just place one on top of the other and you push down pretty firmly and you're going to hear it snap in place and that's when you know that it's made a solid connection. And as far as the design that you want to make, you can use one of these, you can use all of them, you can use anything in between, you can use the corner piece, you don't have to use the corner piece, so that's kind of up to you to play around with it. And if you want to change things up down the road, these pieces come apart very easily, you just twist away from one another and they'll snap out of place. Once you have your design put together, you're going to take your controller and snap that in place. And lastly, you're going to take the power adapter and plug that into the other end of the controller. Now once you have power, you're going to see a light make its way through the design. And once that's done, everything is going to be lit up in a bright white color. I'll quickly turn off the lights, and obviously I need to add the pointless fake plant to the shot before we can move on to the next step. At this stage, it's now time to connect to your smartphone, so make sure to download the Govi app. Top right corner, you're going to add a new device. Search for Glide and it's going to pull up that particular product and once you click on that it's going to search for the glide that you have set up in front of you it should find it you can name it whatever you'd like click next it's going to ask you to connect to your Wi-Fi and that's it as for a quick overview you can scroll down and you're under color and click select all so that all the segments are lit up and then you can choose a red color orange yellow green blue and this is going to change all of the segments on the light strip. You can also choose a warm white and a cold white and kind of anywhere in between. You can also control the brightness of each individual segment which is kind of cool. Now once you scroll up deselect all the segments and now you can choose which particular segments you want to control. So you can select maybe every other and then once you hit red it's just going to change that particular segment to that color and again you can also change the individual segments brightness. Next on the list is scenes and Govi's done a great job here. They've created over 40 different animations that you can choose from and this is where you're going to find the classic rainbow effect. So make sure to play around with these. I guarantee you you're going to find at least a few that you absolutely love and keep coming back to. Moving on to music mode, there are six different sound settings that you can choose from and each one is going to react to sound differently and in my brief time playing around with this, they all worked really well, so definitely make sure to check this feature out. Now the last setting I want to get into is the DIY mode. And this is what I used in the beginning of my video to create the effects on the Mega Man, the Blaster, and the Lightsaber. Under effect, I chose finger sketch. I put it counterclockwise and turn the speed all the way up. Next, I'm going to choose my primary color, which is going to be blue. And I'm going to tap a few different places on the timeline, which is where that blue streak is going to be going through. I can change my background color, which in this case, I want to have it turned off and click apply. And you can see I have two blue streaks going through very fast in a counterclockwise motion. I can slow it down. With a couple more dots, I can add a few more blue streaks to the animation. 
And there are so many different combinations and ways you can customize it using this DIY mode. And I will admit, it did take a little bit of time for me to get familiarized with what all the settings did um, and how to navigate this, but that's part of the fun of buying something new is you get to play around with it and figure out how it works. And if any of you are wondering how I made the, the lightsaber, um, the Mega Man, and some of those other images I used at the beginning of the video, I'm going to be making a complete how-to guide on those coming out shortly. So make sure to uh, subscribe here and click the bell to get notified when that comes out, because uh, that was definitely a fun project putting those together. So overall, I am super impressed with what Govi was able to do with this product. The colors are super bright and vibrant, setup was a breeze, and the customizable options are endless. And what's most exciting is they're about half the price of the only thing out there that I'm aware of that's similar to this, which is the LifeX Beam. I know I went through things here pretty fast, so please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions at all. I try to respond to all the comments and I really enjoy hearing everyone's feedback. And if you're still here, I want to thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have a blessed day.